Hello everyone, Brian here with another video on how to create your character in Maya. Uh, today's episode, we're going to take a, a slight deviation of what we were doing previously. In the past, we were working on rigging your character. We've now modeled, we've textured, and we've partially rigged this character. We're going to take a quick offshoot here into facial animation and lip sync. It's a fairly interesting topic, and it's actually pretty easy to do. And, it's, and, and there's a few people who have been asking about it through direct emails and through uh, contacts. So, uh, I'm going to cover this topic because I think those people have actually got moved ahead and maybe they're actually finished their arms and that kind of stuff and they kind of want to see what the next step is. Now there's no particular order this has to be done in so you can feel free to do your blend shapes uh, right now and continue rigging whenever we do the next rigging video. So there's a lot of different ways to actually do facial animation. Uh, you can do it with a, a complicated facial rig where we add bones and everything to the face and then everything is you know, uh, manipulatable and, and, uh, and it actually allows a lot of freedom. However, it's a lot more complicated and a lot more complicated than we possibly need for a Minecraft character. So what we're going to be doing to do our facial uh, animation and our lip sync is something called blend shapes. Now blend shapes basically allow us to create a series of objects that are based off of a base object, so for example the head, and we are going to make uh, several different um, different styles of that head, so like a frown or a smile or a you know a, a narrow mouth or you know when uh, blinking eyes that kind of stuff we're gonna add we're gonna make all these different heads and then we can actually add through it's an additive uh blend, meaning that we will take a portion of each of those heads and add them to our original face in order to make lip sync. In order to make the mouth move, we can animate and keyframe those blends together to make it, to make whatever shape we want. Now, it, yes, it is more restrictive. You are uh, restricted in that you um, have X number of blends to work with, and uh, whatever you can produce by mixing those blends together will is what you actually will have in your character. Uh, but actually, it, it, it's more restrictive, but it's still it's it's a very wide range depending on how many blends you build. So how we're going to tackle this topic is I'm going to go over with you uh, how to do the open mouth blend because it's it's a slightly different method. Uh, and then after that, we're going to separate. I'm going to do my blend shapes off camera. You guys are going to build your blend shapes as well. And I'm going to show you how to combine them all afterwards and the ones that I've used to combine them all afterwards in order to make your lip sync. Okay? So uh, without further ado, let's get started. What I'd like you guys to do to begin with is I want you to make sure that your skeleton can go back into its original uh, shape. So select the root bone, which is right here. And I want you to hold down the right mouse button and say set preferred angle. And that's just going to make sure that we can return our bones to this exact shape. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have to skin the head to the bones. And if you remember from before, we had set it up so we were going to add the, <coughs> pardon me, add the, the skinning of the head to this bone, which is called the BN head, and this bone, which is called the BN chin. Those two bones are going to control our head shape. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select those two bones. We are then going to select the mesh itself, and we're going to go up in the animation tab. We're going to go to skin, bind skin, smooth bind, and make sure you click on this little square on the end. In this new window, make sure that selected joints is set and everything else can be maintained as its default. And then bind the skin. Now, if we use our control that we set up last, uh, last episode, you're going to be able to see that the head is now controlled by the bones and it's moving the way we want it to move, which is great. Let's put that back how it was. Let's zero everything out. Okay, now the problem is we want the jawbone, which is right here, we call it the BX jaw, we want the jawbone's rotation to control how the mouth is opening and closing. And we're only going to do this for now. You can actually set it up so that this is how you always manipulate the mouth, but we're going to set up a blend shape and, and uh, if you want to, you can leave it for some minute manipulation. But if we actually rotate this jawbone, which in turn is going to rotate the chin because the chin is in, higher, in the hierarchy of the, it's a child of the, in the hierarchy of this uh, bone right here, if we actually rotate this, you can see that the entire face is kind of moving, you know? And we don't want that. We want only the jaw to open and close. So, to begin with, what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange how this head is skinned onto the bones. What I want you to do is I want you to, first of all, select the mesh, which is the head. And then we're going to go up to Skin. You're going to go to Edit Smooth Skin. And you're going to search through that list until you find paint skin weights right here and you're going to click on the little square on the end just like that and that in turn is going to bring up a new tool it's, it's the paint weight tools and you can see that we have each of the bones that we have um, connections to in this list the head bone is affecting every area that's white and the chin bone 
is affecting these other areas that are white. The first thing we want to do is make sure that the head bone has control of everything and the chin bone has control of nothing for now. So I'm going to select on the head bone just like this. I'm going to go into my uh, area down here and I'm going to use the replace. I'm going to set the opacity to 1 and the value to 1 and I'm going to say flood. And that's going to turn everything white just like that. So right now the head bone is in charge of everything. The chin bone still has some influence and we want to set this to 0. So we're going to go down here, we're going to set this value to 0 and we're going to flood just like that. So now the chin bone has nothing associated with it and the head bone has everything. If we leave this tool and we come back into our head to make sure it's still rotating properly, we can see everything is still rotating properly because it's moving with the hierarchy. Now, we have to associate the chin bone only with the area that we want to be associated it with. So, we're going to go into panels, we're going to go to the orthographic side view, and we're going to, let's turn off the joints for now so we can't see it. We're going to come into here. I want you to uh, right. I want you to click on this. Right click on the mesh and say vertices. So what we're going to see is only the vertices, and we're going to mask out the vertices we want to control with the chin. So in our case, we want to control everything that's the jaw. So from right here down to there, just like that. Okay, and go back into the front view or the panel view. Now we want to make sure that we are only affecting the middle of the lip the bottom lip and below. So you can see right now I've actually selected too much. Anything that's yellow is currently selected and I've selected the upper lip as well. So I want to remove any influence that's going to happen on that upper lip. So let me go into here and using the control button I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to just highlight the areas I do not want to control. I don't want to control anything on the upper lip at all. Just like this. We're going to go through and select each and every area to make sure we are not affecting anything we do not want to affect just like this you gotta make sure you get all of these or else this is not going to work appropriately just like that make sure the one in the corner is good too nope one back there still okay great now that I've done that I've removed the areas that I do not want to influence I'm gonna go back into our skin, uh, edit smooth skin, and back into our paint weight tool right here, and click on the little square. And I'm going to select the chin, and what I want to do is I want to add 100% influence to that area, so I'm going to change this value to 1, and I'm going to say flood. Oops, I had forgot to return, I'm going to say flood. So make sure you hit return there, if you, have, if you only type, I just typed 1 and didn't hit return, if you don't see that dot zero zero zero, it's not going to work properly, sorry about that. So yeah, uh, now that I've said flood, you can see that this area is now white, and I'm controlling that with my chin bone, which is exactly what I want. So let's get out of this tool, let's tear this off again, because I don't know why I actually added it. Tear that off there, and I'm going to turn this back into my, this tool, and I'm going to say, go back into object mode. Okay, good, and I'm going to go show joints. So when I take a look at my joints now, when I open and close this mouth, you're going to see that I'm moving the mouth only. Now it's not moving exactly as I want, and what we're going to do now is we're going to adjust exactly what's being affected. We want to have a nice open mouth, but we don't want to have a, uh, we don't want to have it like, we want to make sure it's a little bit rounded and not looking weird. Like this is our open mouth, we kind of want it to swing. Where It's, it's going to swing based on where our, our joint is located currently. We want to make sure it's swinging properly. All right. Okay, everybody, so hold on one second. I have to cut this off because I'm using Bandicam, and I am now approaching the 10-minute uh, uh, mark, so hold on one second, please. Okay, everyone, we are back, and uh, what we're going to do now is, is we can see that this, I think I've already shown it, but we can see that this is now opening as we expect. Boop, 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 boop. Great. What we want to do now is adjust exactly how this is being influenced. So I'm going to open this up like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, I'm going to select the head, and I'm going to go back to the skin, edit smooth skin, and paint skin weight tool right here like that. And we're going to take a look at the chin. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that this area is, is not being affected in exactly the same way. So in this thing, make sure you collect, select, on, select on the smooth tool. And what we're going to do is we're just going to start removing influence and you can see that when I'm using this smooth tool, what it's doing is it's causing these points. If you paint over, this is actually too much, the opacity, let's turn down the opacity to like 0.25, we'll use 0.25. If I go over the area, there's a vertice, so in this case, wherever, obviously wherever there's a crossing of the, um, a crossing of the edges, 
if I just kind of use if I just kind of click on those areas you can see that now I'm removing some of the influence from the from the chin and actually adding it back into the uh, head bone so that means this area here is not going to move as much I'm just going to zoom in really close here and I'm going to remove the influence from there I'm just trying to make this look smoother more like like I want it to look instead of instead of it being such a sharp line I'm going to I'm going to remove influence from here just like this I'm just clicking on those areas removing influence and moving that line you can see closer and closer to the top up to this line here it's coming close and close to that and that's going to allow me to have a slightly rounded look like a slightly more round it's not going to be so so hard edged and, and and angular so you can do it this way here or if you wanted to you could instead of instead of smoothing it out afterwards you could actually just have painted this weight using the um, add tool or the replace tool you can actually just paint these weights in manually and it's also an easy easy method in fact sometimes it's even it's even faster than what I'm doing here this just kinda gives I just wanna make sure that I'm kinda got everything smoothed out and I have to do this on both sides just like this okay and all I'm doing all I'm doing is clicking 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 in these areas I'm gonna click this one too, smooth this out smooth this out anywhere where I kinda want there to be a little less let me turn the bones off so you can see easier a little less influence added by the uh, by the chin bone and a little more influence added by the head bone just gonna keep clicking so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this on both sides and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this video off here and I am going to uh, keep clicking <laughs> this is one of my least favorite parts about uh, about building a character is the skinning portion of it and this is of course part of the skinning now the only reason we're doing this this part of the skinning is to get a nice shape and it can just be a simple um, starting point if you want you don't have to do too much of this you can actually then you know save this head and I'll show you exactly how to do it and then make more adjustments to it and we're probably gonna do that actually so I'm just gonna keep adjusting this like this painting 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 so I'm gonna cut this off here and uh, once I have it the way I like we're gonna come back and I'll show you the next step okay everybody I will talk to you all soon okay everyone we are back and I've kinda got this the way I want it it's a little smoother it's a uh, you know I didn't put a I didn't put too much time into it and and of course the more time you put into these things the uh, better looking they're going to be I didn't put a whole lot of time into it just because I want to make sure I get this video out I know you guys have been waiting a long time for this video so I'm going to uh, get this video out for you guys so I, I put a little bit of effort into it but not a whole lot now you can open this mouth as big or as wide as you think your character is going to open his mouth at the max maximum so uh, Terrace uh, is going to have mouth that's that's pretty big right there but that's what we're gonna do this is kind of a strange character the way that his skin works is this character's mouth is huge and the eyes are huge but uh, let's say that that is the widest we're ever gonna have a mouth open maybe right there okay so I've gone through and I've manipulated the the influence on this character and that is all great so now I've got the mouth where I want it the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure that I'm in object mode I'm gonna click on the mesh itself and let me turn off the joints again so you can see I'm gonna click on the mesh itself okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say edit and I'm gonna say duplicate and when I do uh, let me shut this tool off when I do we're gonna get a second version of this head and you can see that this is in my channel box right here's the channel box in my channel box um, this extra head is grayed out all these things are grayed out meaning I can't actually physically move it if I try and translate it now by turning on the translation tool if I try and translate it now I'm not gonna be able to because this is locked so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on all of these all of the locked attributes you're gonna right click and you're gonna look for the unlock selected right there boom now once you've done that you're gonna be able to actually physically move this up and away so we actually have a copy of this head okay perfect so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the joints back on show uh, joints just like that and I'm gonna click on this joint I'm gonna right click and hold it and say assume preferred angle which is gonna shut my mouth again okay so now we actually have a copy of this head it's an identical head has the identical number of vertices and polygons which is extremely important when you are actually doing uh, when you are actually doing blend shapes so you've got um, you've got a uh, exact copy of this head with a mouth open now 
we're going to throw away that work we did. We can we no longer have to have this thing skinned, so we're going to say skin. You can leave it if you want to. I'm going to remove it because I'm not going to actually use that to open the mouth. I'm going to use a blend shape. So I'm going to say uh, detach skin. And that skin now is back to what it was. The head is no longer being influenced by this control. Just the eyes are. Okay, so why I did that is because I'm, as an animator, I don't want to have several different areas where I'm going to manipulate uh, attributes. Like, if I'm going to open the mouth, I don't want to have to, like, go to a separate control to open the mouth. And I'm not planning on teaching you guys how to build a control structure for the face. I'm going to use in Maya um, windows in order to do my lip sync. It's just easier that way, and it's going to be simple for you guys. So, let's take a look now. Let me show you exactly what we're trying to do. Now, now that I have, let me turn off the bones again so we can see. Now that we actually have two separate versions of this head, and let me call this head uh, uh, car open mouth. So I'm going to rename it. I've got that right away. With car open mouth in place, wherever I want it, and this head, I'm going to select car open mouth, and I'm going to select the original head. And when I do, I can go up to here, and if I go in, in the Animation tab again, and I say Create Deformers, one of the options down there is Blend Shapes. So if I go over to here, click on that little box, and let's say I want to give it a name. I'm just going to call this thing here. I'm going to delete this, so I'm going to call this Test Blend for now. And I say Create. Bang. It doesn't look like anything happened. But if I actually go to my Windows, and I go to Animation Editors, and I open up the Blend Shape uh, window, it's going to launch this new window. And as you can see, in this window now, I have something called Test Blend. And that's what we called our blend shape, Test Blend. And down here, you're going to see Open Mouth. And that's this head here. So this little drag bar right here will determine how much influence this shape has over this shape. So watch this. If I drag this, this values are between 0 and 1, and I think you can overdrive these by typing it in, but let's, for now it's between 0 and 1. If I move this up and down, you can see my original head down at the bottom there. Let me take a go down here and take a look. My original head is opening and closing the mouth, because it's, it's doing some kind of combination of itself with uh, this blend shape. So, hello, my name is Terrace. You can do that. Um, now that's a really simple uh, simple way of doing it right there that's a blend shape now we're gonna have to build a whole bunch of these heads we're gonna have to build several of them <coughs> pardon me you're gonna want to build heads for every shape that you want your character to go into every smile every frown every snarl everything you're gonna want to have a shape now we're gonna have a long list here of uh, of these uh, um, drag drag buttons here. We're going to have a long list of them and we can actually combine them and I'm going to show you that afterwards. So what I'm going to do, this is going to be the end of part A. I'm going to cut this video off right here and we're going to go on with part B. I'm going to go off right now and I'm going to build my individual heads and I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how this works. Okay everybody? So I'll be right back.